Well, law reporter Asher Westrup Evans is in Beersheba where the rocket hit. And Asher, looking at the home behind you, it's surprising that actually nobody was injured at looking at, at seeing that damage. Exactly right, Kalev. And not just surprising, honestly, it was really quite miraculous. If we take a look back at the damage going on behind me, we see that upstairs bedroom, which is where the children were sleeping. The rocket penetrated through the roof, going into the bedroom and exploding its entire 40-pound payload inside that room. Fortunately, the mother of the house, nicknamed by locals and neighbours the Lioness, was able to run upstairs and grab her three children, taking them back down to safety in the bomb shelter because, as we can see, the destruction mostly on the upper floors but also extending all the way through the house and to neighbouring houses was really utterly obliterated the entire property. Now, Asher, uh, usually is the case, as it was uh, last night, that these attacks come in the evening hours. So how are the residents of Beersheba, where you've been all day, feeling going into the night? Well, certainly, Kalev, as the night has fallen, uh, residents here are feeling a bit nervous. You know, there is a buzz in the air, there's a, a tension as people are unsure of what's going to happen moving forward after those uh, intense responses by the Israeli Defence Forces today in Gaza. Uh, there seems to be an uneasy calm, but who knows how long that will last. And residents here have sort of been shaken, a lot of them earlier today, describing trauma that they felt by hearing that siren again at 3.30 in the morning, being woken from their sleep, something that most of them haven't experienced since the 2014 operation, something that they're afraid might become a new norm yet again. Asher, briefly, why didn't the Iron Dome missile defense system intercept that rocket? Well, it, it seems the Iron Dome wasn't necessarily in Beersheba at the time. The IEDF reporting today that they were intending to move an Iron Dome battery low to the local area around Beersheba, uh, something uh, that obviously implies that it wasn't in place beforehand. Okay, well, hopefully that's going to be in place, certainly, for the coming evening, and those residents there in Beersheba will get a decent night's sleep. Asher Westrup Evans in Beersheba, thank you for that report.